Okay, time to bleed the brakes. You, uh, you should bleed the brake fluid in your brakes so every couple years or so. Um, you should also do it if uh, your brake pedal feels a little bit soft. Uh, one of the possible symptoms of, or causes of that symptom would be uh, that there's water or some other contaminants in the brake lines in the hydraulic lines to make them kind of soft. So you want to flush it out, keep it clean, so that you have like good, uh, stiff braking. Uh, in order to do that, uh, I have a few things gathered here. A um, little bit of plastic hose to fit over the brake nipples. Um, a power bleeder. This is not necessary. You can have someone step on the brakes uh, to do this, but uh, this makes it a lot easier. Um, a pail for the old brake fluid as it drains out. An 11 millimeter wrench. New brake fluid. Uh, this particular, you have to use uh, dot for brake fluid. This particular brake fluid is the exact same brake fluid that Porsche used uh, when my 986 was in the factory. So uh, that's why I selected this brake fluid. Always use new containers so that there's no moisture or anything in there. Um, and then the last thing I have is just a bucket with some soapy water. And the reason for that is that brake fluid is really corrosive. Uh, and if I spill it anywhere on the paint, I want to be able to wash it off right away. So I'm going to start by just filling my... pressure bleeder here. And I'm going to go ahead and run through this whole whole liter of brake fluid because um, I don't really want to save brake fluid. It doesn't save well. It gets moisture in it and it's no good. Um, so in my pressure bleeder. Now, one thing to note is that you can't really do this with cars fitted with uh, stability control or traction control, uh, Porsches with PSM, anything like that, um, because the traction control modules, they have valves in the brake lines. Um, and they have to be opened before you can bleed the brakes and you have to actually go into the software uh, and Tell the computer to open those valves before you can bleed the brake fluid through uh, My car doesn't have stability control. So this is a much easier process in this case Right then moving over to the front of the car. Here's the uh, uh, brake fluid reservoir uh, says make sure that this is clean so you don't get dirt inside here and uh, only use dot four brake fluid from a sealed container again it has to be fresh and clean just going to remove that and thread on power bleeder right there I'm going to pump this up, and this puts pressure on here, uh, and the pressure just continually squeezes brake, brake fluid uh, through the system, flushing it out. Uh, it's very important, however, that when you do this, uh, you do not go past uh, 29 psi. That's according to Porsche. Uh, I'm gonna stay well south of that. Uh, the danger of too much pressure is that uh, you can end up breaking something in your brake fluid system, like this plastic brake fluid reservoir. So you don't wanna go crazy with the pressure. All right, maybe that's like 18 PSI, well under the uh, maximum. Uh, should still be enough to flush brake fluid through the system though. Uh, you always want to start on the right rear tire. That's because it's the farthest from the brake reservoir. So you brake flush fluid from this, then move to the right uh, or to the left rear wheel. 
and then to the right front, and then the left front. So you go back, back, front, front, like that. Uh, and that system means that you're going from farthest away to closest in kind of a, a sequence. Um, so I have my bucket for the old brake fluid. Um, I'm going to remove this cap right here. This is why I have this little length of plastic tubing because the old brake fluid will squeeze out here. Put it right there. And this is where I use my 11 millimeter wrench. Uh, I put it right here and just go ahead and loosen it. And the brake fluid should just drain out nice, nice and easy like that. With the power bleeder, you can just let that drain. When you felt like you've drained a good bit out, I've got like maybe a cup of brake fluid out of that one. You can go ahead and just tighten that down. It should stop. And I'll pull the brake or the plastic tubing off here. Just in case I spilled any brake fluid. Now, on the uh, Boxster S, uh, this is a dual caliper system. Most of the time, the uh, disc brakes on cars, they'll have one hydraulic caliper that will squeeze in the brake pad, usually on this back side. Um, so if you don't have the S, if you have a regular uh, 986, um, you'll just have a caliper back here and this one brake cap back here that you have to drain. Um, and you won't have this one, one up here. On the S, uh, there's a brake calib uh, caliper here, it's basically a hydraulically powered piston that squeezes this brake pad in on this side, and instead of this just holding it on this side, there's a second caliper over here so that it's squeezing it from both sides, and that's why there are actually two uh, points right here. Same process with the second one. Uh, hose on here like this and uh, just gonna loosen it now for this one I don't need to drain out nearly as much brake fluid because there's only one line feeding the right rear brake and then it splits off into the two pistons so I really just need to drain off a tiny little bit of fluid from this piston because they've probably already cleared the line so I'm not going to let the second one run as long. Again, if you have the base version of the Boxster, you don't, uh, you'll only have one uh, of these brake nipples to bleed. That's it. After draining this one and draining this one, uh, I'm going to just repeat the process three more times. Uh, I'm going to move to the left rear first, and then the front right and then the front left finally as the last one. Between each one, I'll check the pressure on my uh, pressure bleeder. Uh, make sure that it's between probably uh, 15 and 20 PSI, because um, the pressure will slowly drop as it bleeds through more fluid. So I'll pump it up a little bit between each one, um, and then I'll be in good shape.